Hey everyone, Garrett from Tati Nyoko here. Thanks for tuning in on today's episode. We got uh, a great list of topics. We're gonna talk about green cast denim. We've got Terry's warehouse updates. We got some silver accessories, uh, another update for our uh, little gifts that we're gonna be putting in with the word of the week. We are gonna talk about, of course, the ocean's edge and much, much more. So make sure you stick around to the very end. But before we get into it, please do me a big favor, hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you have not already. So as usual, we're gonna get started with the fits. And I think today I'm gonna let Vinny go first. Oh, What's good, y'all? It's your friendly neighborhood bold man here. Uh, we got the circular knit tee in black with the buffalo belt. Oh shit. We got the solid black jeans with my got? emeralds. Air Maxes. Don't ask me what Air Max they are, because I actually don't know. Don't care if it's like 97. I don't know. I just know they're emeralds and they're green. Air Max 1. Um, what cut are the jeans? Cut? These are the true guys. So stay true, my friends. Who wants to go next? I can. Today, I got the BBB special. That's so blue on blue on blue. In fact, 4B, because black also is, is a B. <laughs> so I'll start from the bottom, converse. Yes. Okay, I'll skip this. Uh, I got my Freshly uh, Elephant 9, uh, Freshly M at 31 length, to give me a less, uh, I don't know, less, uh, less, less weird stack. Le Less stack. A little bit of stacking. I got the easy shirt, a spring flower, um, spring flower um, blue. Is it a spring flower? Yeah, spring flower. And to uh, govern the top, I got the all condition jacket. So this is made from one of the strongest fi fiber ever made. Stronger than steel, but less than spider web. And it's made also from 25% polyester. So it's really light. It looks like rigid, but I can bike with it and it got the wind a little bit and I can just, I can just go over my handlebar and don't break it oh, on, the, on the foul. And, um, For all the, the bike nerds out there, what are you riding? What am I riding? I'm riding an old Narco a steel bike, um, Tango. So it's from the mid 90s and it's converted with like street tire on it. And uh, yeah, it's perfect for the city and front suspension. Got it for $150. Oh, very nice so all right I, vincent i will say the norco is legit norco is a vancouver company right i think so yeah at least they are from bc but i'm not sure maybe from abbotsford or something like that yeah north van oh, not to mistake with hey guys yeah. vincent here i have my raised by wolf snap hoodie you can't get this one but you could get another in the vintage style with the contrast color and the heather gray I have my no belt because I have been um, getting a little heavier. So as Terry would say, the buttons are the MVP. They're stretching again. I'm wearing the solid black selvage groovy guys. I released the hem though, cause I felt like they were just a little too short for my liking. I had my time with them. They're great with loafers, but I don't really don the loafers anymore. Um, yeah, actually that's it for me. Change the fit. But, uh, huh? Oh, Hell yeah, I got the Leatherman Revski. I lost this for a time and it got rusty and then I took it out and it started moving better better again. But it got more rusty, so. You gotta hit it with some uh, WD-40. I gotta hit it with some more weather. You can bring some, what are they called, the gun oil, CPL or whatever. Dude, if you if you can, I would love that. It's a foul stall, foul stall, yeah. Or right. some sewing machine oil. Gary, I mean Gary. All right, it's my turn. Okay, so starting from the top, I have my um, vintage, I guess you could call it like a train conductor hat, but it's actually, it's not vintage. It's it's mine, I bought it brand new, but now it looks vintage because it's been a few years and collected a little bit of railway dust. Um, and then next I have on my trusty blue work shirt, gray circular knit. Got the thick belt on and brought out the 32 ounce for you guys today. Many washes on these guys. 
Uh, I think I've worn them for about a year and a half total. Have my card holder. And I've also, I don't know where, but I misplaced my Benchmade 940. Not sure where it went. So until I find it, the Benchmade fact is uh, the daily driver, probably. It's a nice, that's a nice one. Yeah. It is a nice one. Skeleton, almost. Yeah. Like, you know? Skeleton yeah. Vibes, you know very. It's it's a little more tactical than I'd like, and apparently this is not good for your pockets. But mm -hmm. so far, it's not been an issue, and uh, I really like it. Nice and thin. But more wear and more tear is good things, though. Yeah, and then lastly, I got Wesco uh, Boss and Black Horsehide. And that's it. Oh, also, one more little update. We have uh, some new tech, some new kit for the camera, trying to make the video a little bit more stable. So if you're enjoying the new video quality, leave a comment down below. Give us your feedback, whether you like it this way or you prefer it the older way, let us know. And now it's Terry's turn. Hello, everyone. Uh, first of all, welcome to another exciting week here at Tatan Yoko. But first, I must apologize. Forgive me for my uh, muffled voice. Recent celestial events have uh, brought down an imbalance in my humors. So I'm a little bit congested over here, but I will nevertheless endeavor to uh, deliver delicious denim knowledge and goodness to everyone out there. So without further ado, a quick fit check from me. Shaking it up this week, just a wee bit here. I got my tactical chucks here, the Alpama Maritime Assault Boots over here. They are supporting these rock cotton canvas olive weird guy 36, just a little bit large on me. Never fear. I got my braces over here. Check out these nice braces. Uh, we talked about these a little bit on another video before. Uh, you can always do this type of thing yourself. It's very easy mod to do. If you go for buttons, kind of like a one-way street, you won't be able to go back to belts after that, but you won't have to. I kind of like to have a pair of jeans just for braces and a pair of jeans just for belts. Perfect. Of course, circular knit tee in black, which is covered up by my beloved MIJ-10 jacket here. I love this jacket. It's uh, really good. Uh, watch this space for more delicious MIJ uh, jackets. Coming, coming soon, coming soon. Little goodies over here. Of course, I got my working uh, Kirsch over here. My $39.99 Amazon special. Uh, this guy is not, it's not bad actually. He gets it done, gets the job done. You know, cuts a lot of cardboard and packing tape lives in fear of this bad boy. All right, uh, yes. Oh yeah, we're <laughs> gonna show it off now. Show it off. All right, I gotta show you off now. So speaking of celestial events, uh, anyone over here kind of in a certain little strip of North America, we're talking from Montreal, kind of like going right down there. Just kind of like a little bit of a bias. If you're there, you, you know, you kind of missed it. You sure didn't. I want to show you, you know, it's important to keep safety here in mind. We're all about safety over here. So uh, we here at the uh, Tatan Yoko's took care of our, um, uh, our eyeballs with this special homemade Eclipse viewing device here. We've got a tiny little pinhole in the back over here. We've got a giant little head hole in the front. And I want to show you, you know, show off our cool little Eclipse drip over here. I'm going to show you how I looked as I looked at the Eclipse. I looked like this. And it looked great. It was the 360. Amazing. The 360. It was amazing. And I can still see, I have my precious eyeballs there still with me. I can see everything. No aches, no pains. We gotta show the new tech though. So, uh, you guys can't see it because we're not just gonna take the camera off the mount, but I've drawn you guys a wonderful diagram of what Vinny is holding. A monopod. <laughs> a monopod. Much like a tripod, but a tripod, but mono. So imagine Vinny's just like this. Anyways. Double fisting. Thank you very uh, much, <laughs> Vincent. Thank you very much, Vincent, the man who puts the stain in stainless. All right, over here. So moving on with today's show, we got a little bit of other fun stuff, okay? We got a cool, I was gonna talk a little about the warehouse over here. A couple of cool things. Uh, we just got some of those Raised by Wolves Timex collab watches, but uh, they are moving very fast. So hopefully there's one or two left by the time you watch this video. That's a really cool uh, special limited edition piece that is on our website right now. Grab them while you can. And also a little peek peek, a little special shipment came all the way over from Japan there. And it's a little uh, surprise from our best buddies there, Beza and Risa there from the Wonder Looper. We got some particularly loopy products just arrived in the warehouse. We'll tease more of those soon. 
just know that there's more one loop stuff coming our way. Great. So now we're going to talk a little bit about, I think, the week's release, which is... Mm. Oh, you you forgot about the fade logs. I'm going to talk about the fade logs. Are you going to talk about it later? I'll talk about it in the word of the day. Okay. Get back for later. Right. Okay. So as Terry mentioned, we have the Ocean's Edge Salvage dropping this Friday. And Bayzad and Reza made a, a wonderful video. If you haven't checked it out after this, go over and watch that. It goes through all the details. I know on the surface, it may seem like this is a fairly simple blue jean, but actually there is a ton of really cool details about it. So definitely check that video out to learn all about this very special jean. But one thing I just want to talk about um, for Friday's release, just so no one gets confused, is that there's actually going to be a slight difference between some of them. So for the super guy, weird guy, and true guy, it's going to be a yellow line on uh, the selvage ID. So I'll just show you guys that's how it looks. And then for the easy guy, the jacket, and the classic, it's going to have a red line selvage ID. So there's no like swapping between them. If you get a if you get one of those fits, it's going to be uh, the way it is. So just know that for the easy guy, the jacket, and the classic, it is going to have that red line. There will be a slight difference. So again, these are going to be dropping this Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern time on Tate Nyoko. So definitely uh, put your alarm clocks set for that because these are a really cool jean. And again, if you haven't, check out the video from Beza and Riza. It's a really interesting, fun video, and I'm sure you're going to learn something when you watch it. All right, so that's going to be dropping this Friday. Let's talk a little bit about something that we don't give enough attention to, and that is some of the accessories that we have on the website. And I thought it would be a great time to show off some of my favorite monkey pins. Well, actually, the boys, they kind of get, gather around, gather around. They, we all kind of looked and, and chose some of our favorites here. Um, no, I, I chose, I like the Shiba. To be honest, I'm a cat guy. Me and Terry, we're, we're cat Dude. guys. But I saw the Shiba and I really love the Shiba pin from Manka. And these are silver, handmade by one guy in Japan, one man show. And he does a really cool job with these little pins. And uh, it reminds me, what's that show where he's like, you got enough, um, do you have enough, what do they call it? Flair. Flair. You gotta have the minimum required amount of flair. There's a movie and I can't remember the name, but you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. So right. definitely you gotta get your flair. I like the Shiba. There's also the little piece, piece one. This is a pretty fun one with the piece star fingers. Okay, and then of course we got the kitty. We got the rocket ship too. If you're not if you're not a cat boy like these two over here, you can don the spaceship and be a spaceman. Spaceman. Hell dive. The cat, the cat is pretty the cat. cool. You cannot go wrong with the kitty. I feel like this is a great thing. So you put on your jacket and people are going to come up to you and just want to talk to you yeah. about yeah. cats. You know, you show off that you're a cat person. Cat yeah. person. I got to show this one off over here. Uh, we can't say this name out loud here, but this is some sort of West German air cooled rear engine sports car uh, of a little whale heritage over yeah. there. So save the whales. Save Hashtag the whale. save the whales. Whale. It's called you know, Porch 911. <laughs> Can't say that, but yeah, <laughs> yes, this is a very cool little uh, sports car tag there. Um, if you actually have one of those cars, I'm jealous. Enjoy it. <laughs> they are rare, 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 rare. Yeah. So we got this and much more on the website. I believe there will be a restock on some of the other styles coming soon. So if you if you're looking for one of the other ones, you can uh, sign up for a back in stock notification, and we'll email you when it's back in stock. Yeah, so these pins are made in Japan, correct? Yes. And they are silver as well, correct? Correct. So yeah. silver and made in Japan by hand, so that's pretty cool. It yeah. is a nice piece of jewelry. You can just flare yourself up with. Look yeah. these bad boys. Great right here. for your oh. own, uh, you know, so denim much, jackets so or Ooh. your friends. Someone's got some bills here. Okay, and then also we have some Yucatan oh, yeah. accessories. We have these cool keychain things. So if you want to, you know, spice up your keys a little bit, we got a bunch of these on the website. And they're really cool. And then we also have the money clip. Whoa, we got a rich guy here. He's almost got thirty dollars. <laughs> Narco. There's actually sixteen. Sixteen dollars. <laughs> no, sixty-one. Six six. What? 
We don't have one dollar bills. Well, uh, the Americans that came to visit us. Oh, they... you have an American dollar bill. Now. Yes. All right, and then we have the money <laughs> clips. I really like the money clips because sometimes I don't want to have my full wallet or yeah. especially when I go traveling, I like to keep kind of my cash separate from my cards. So I'll usually break out the money clip when I go traveling and, and keep the cash separate from, from my wallet, you know, have the wallet hidden somewhere else. For sure. So yeah, check those out. They come with these cool little bags for each one of the Yucatan accessories. Yeah, unique bags too. Like, like all the bags, they do kind of look fairly similar. But when you see, they'll all have like different bags and they all have these uh, little veg tan leather tabs kind of thing. Real cool, real cool. I'll you know what these bags back. remind me of? Is... Bandanas. No. They, well, yes, but also they remind me of grab bags. When I was a kid, my dad used to take me to rock shows and not like rock as in like metal shows. I'm sure like a, it's a trade show for rocks. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Gemstones, crystals, crystals, minerals, crystals. Yeah. mineral, Garrett. Yeah, so <laughs> minerals, like we, my, they were called the rock show. So we go to the rock show and then my dad would be like, oh, you can buy a grab bag and then you'd buy a little bag for like, you know, a couple dollars like this and you would have a random assortment of cool rocks inside. So that's what this little bag kind of reminds me of. Did you lick the rocks? No. Uh, that, that's how we know you're not a real we geologist. Did, we did I got not a lot of, lick them. I have a lot of geologists in the family there, and all the geologists out there are all about licking rocks. Uh, comment <laughs> below if you're a rock licker. Is there uh, like, you know how they have like, <laughs> the, the hardness scale and like the luster scale and mm -hmm. all this? I have a question. Is there a flavor scale yeah. for rocks? There's not a scale, but there are flavor notes. I have a question. <laughs> along, along with, is there is there a big community of rock suckers as well? <laughs> I just, there was, I, like I believe, I believe, one of the 2023 Ig Nobel Prizes went to a paper on a rock licking. Rock licking? <laughs> That's an Ig Nobel. Uh, I love the Ig Nobels. It's a special type of prize handed out, uh, much like the Nobel Prizes, but it's kind of like a scientific achievements that first make you laugh and then make you think this is the real thing. I encourage you all to look it up. It's kind of wacky science made fun. So that's a little bit of Bill Nye attitude over there, out there. Yeah, rock lickers. <laughs> rock lickers, rock suckers, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> all right, so on that note, let's talk a little bit uh, about one of my favorite types of denim, and that is green cast. So on one end of the spectrum, you have red cast denim, which is a little more purpley. Basically, they're going to mix a little bit of red into the indigo. And on the other end of the spectrum, you have green cast, which we also really, really love here. And there's a lot of proof that we love green cast because lately we've had a lot of green cast jeans. Of course, we've got the Ocean's Edge, which is a bluey aqua, gr uh, greeny blue aqua indigo color. We have the hemp, which is for sure a green cast for obvious reasons. We have Ooh. the green cast slub. I think we have a few pairs of those left. I really like the fabric on that one. The MIJ12 that's coming up, which I'll show you in a second. Um, and yeah, so just check these jeans out. But this is just a nice, beautiful green color. This is the Blanca. And it's got the green cast to kind of represent the green skin of Blanca. But just how, look how nicely these have faded. And I just wanted to tease to you guys if you're looking for a green cast, of course we got the Ocean Edge, we got the Hemp, but also coming soon, I don't know when exactly, but sometime in the near future, we have the MIJ12. So I'll just tease these for you a little bit here. A nice slubby mid-weight denim in a green cast. It's gonna be coming, of course, in the True Guy fit. We got the jacket, we got the Heritage jacket. So if you were waiting, for something really special, definitely um, put this down on your wish list. I know Terry, he's really excited. He wants I a am. pair. I am. It's like I can't. I don't want to cheat on my King of Slub twos because I am about that slub life. Shout out to my, all my slub buds. Well, this there. is also the slub life. It's pretty slub. It's pretty slub. It's almost as slubby as it gets. Yeah. It's, other than the, the King of Slub two. I admit, after wearing my King of Slub twos for pretty much all of winter. Wearing these, um, you know, I think the 14 ounce um, raw canvas does mm -hmm. feel a little bit like yoga pants in comparison, but uh, I think this would make, for me, it would make a great summer pair. Yeah, get pair. a close up here. Yeah, get a great Vinny. summer pair. See if I can't get it. Yeah. So again, I don't know the details of when these are coming exactly, but we do have them in the warehouse right now. So somewhere on the horizon, the MIJ 12s are coming. You might be confused. You could say, wait a minute. 
we already released the MIJ-13. How are these the MIJ-12s? Uh, leave a comment down below for yeah, Bayzad. Yeah, yeah, leave it for Bayzad. You can figure <laughs> out what, happened, what happened over there? I'm not sure why that uh, is the case, but anyways. Well, Garrett, the reason why the MIJ-13 came out before the MIJ-12 is because we were developing both the 12 and the 13 at the same time, and it just so happened that the 13 was ready before the 12. But if you were paying attention to our weekly meetings, you might have known this, or if you were tuning into our weekly live stream right here on YouTube, 7 p.m. Eastern every Friday, you definitely would have known that because we've talked about this topic many times. Back to you. MIJ-12s, I'm looking forward to these green casts, and uh, yeah. That's it, a cop for Terry, for sure, for sure. All right, so I think we got Terry's pick next. That's right, all right, so we're talk I'm gonna just refresh everyone's memory over there. Uh, a little thing that we do here at Tatanyoko, every week we have a special word of the week, and if you put that word, that special word of the week, and if you put that in the comment section of your order, uh, we'll throw in a little goodie for you. Uh, usually we throw in a nice little veg tank keychain. It says naked and famous. It's fantastic. And you also get kind of get entered to win a little little prize from us. It does kind of change every now and then. This week's going to be a little bit different. But for next week, and next week only, or maybe just for next week, we're doing a little something different. Instead of the keychain, we're going to be giving out these nice little naked and famous uh, Tannery South fade logs. So these are really cool. Basically, this is a lovely piece of a vegetable tan leather against my kind of veg tan looking skin over there. <laughs> and the idea behind this, you can have one of these for your jeans there. And as you wear it out, uh, you can kind of like notch out how many times you wash and wear it. And this is from our very good buddy, Evan, over at Tannery South. Uh, he's made some leather goods for us. Uh, he's a real gentleman and also a craftsman making these things by hand down there south in the USA from a lovely veg tan leather. So thank you very much, Evan. And so if you put that special word of the week, in your order, you will get one of these, a couple stickers, maybe a little smiley face from someone here, any one of us on the team. And one lucky person, one lucky person will choose your order to win an extra, slightly extra special prize. And this week, we have that person. So, I'm just gonna show off a little goodies over here. Shane name. So we have Robert from Brooklyn, and he puts these solid black bolide. Of course, the word of the week last week was bolide, which is a type of a large meteor kind of going in keeping things in that kind of astrophysics celestial theme. So bullied. So if you put that word in, you gotta think Robert got a pair of true guy saw blacks. And also we're gonna throw in something special here. Let's say one of the old regular shirts. This one's the tribal double weave. Let's see if we kind of show this one out over here. I just wanna kind of show off the fabric here. This is kind of going way back into the early days of Naked and Famous, but you know what? We are holding on to it all these years just for you, Robert. So I think it'll go kind of well for a solid black, true black double belied action black on black fit over here so enjoy that enjoy that very much we hope you appreciate that all right so we got a special prize just for this week um yes i think i'm gonna go and talk about the next word of the week here i'm mm -hmm. gonna kind of wrap it up over here short and sweet this week so uh keeping with the nautical theme of this week's release which is the ocean's edge i figure i'll throw out a special word for everyone out there who likes to kind of read some books that's the hint the word is pequod that's right, the word is Pequod. The word of the week for next week is Pequod. Drop that word in the comment section below and you'll be entered to uh, win a possible cool try. It's gonna be a random old shirt, could be a bag. Sometimes, one time we had a uh, Mr. Brandon make some origami for us. So you never know what it's gonna be. And then you'll definitely get one of these cool uh, Tannery Soft and Naked Famous fade logs. We will put it with love inside a package for you. So that's it, Pequod. Pequod is the word of the week. So a big thank you from everyone here at Tat and Yoko. We hope you have a lovely week. Uh, nobody burned out their eye holes. Uh, quick reminder, if you're waiting for a hemmed item on the Easter sale, uh, it's gonna take just a little bit longer. So we do appreciate your patience. We are hemming them as fast as we can. You know, we got some uh, special liquid cool in our little union special there before it catches on fire because it's hemming so fast there. We just got one machine and it's, it's going, it's going, it's really going. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So that's it. Uh, that's a real big thank you for me. Thank you very much. Uh, look after each other. I love you very much. Take care, everyone. Goodbye. Adios. Remember to like and subscribe, baby.